Antil Design is a firm that we started in uh, 2005. Uh, we are three partners, Saro Shankla Sarya, Roma Tayyabji and myself Riaz Tayyabji. Our firm is uh, largely concerned with uh, building residential and institutional projects, though we've done a fair amount of uh, commercial work, which includes SEZ development, post-disaster rehabilitation, and the work is across the country in a large variety of uh, contexts, uh, landscapes, etc. The clients, uh, Naina and Deepak uh, Desai, are uh, uh, very adamant followers of Satya Sai Baba. There was an existing house on the site, uh, and initially there was talk of uh, retrofitting it, changing it, and modifying it. But when the proposal was made by us and sent to Satya Sai Baba, he actually renamed the house. Uh, he called it Sai Naina, which is what we call it. Along with that, he gave five guidelines that the building must follow, which became our brief. The first point was that the building should be five steps above the main road. The second point was that the building should get lighter as it goes up. Now, if you are familiar with earthquake codes, this is also a very good way to build where earthquake as Ahmedabad is uh, zone three. Uh, this also made sense to us. In order to make it lighter, also programmatically, it was the third point was that the satsang area, the gathering area should be on top. And so that meant that the large span would be on top and so on. And the fourth point was that the building should be pink in color. And the fifth point uh, was that the elevation should have an eye in it. This was symbolic of sign Naina. So the house is uh, located in the central part of uh, Ahmedabad. Uh, it's near, uh, uh, on the western side of the river. Uh, it's uh, located near the village of Ambawadi. It's part of a old uh, housing scheme for employees of Bank of Baroda. Uh, these largely consist of twin uh, houses, which are on long sites, which are oriented north-south. Uh, and there are several of these which are lined up together. Uh, as the, the plot that we were working with is actually a west-facing plot, this would be about uh, 30 meters uh, by about 9 meters, 8.5-9 meters that would make the plot. So it's a long urban townhouse, so to say. Uh, the plot we had is west-facing, so we had the added challenge of uh, how to deal with the heat coming in from that long side. So the uh, main elevational uh, exercise that we had to do was, came out of uh, the fact that the building was going to be ground plus uh, two levels uh, and we had to integrate the, the eye into it. The design of the staircase integrated with an opening into it was the, the device that we used uh, in order to do this. Uh, what that allowed us to do was then look at the staircase as an element that connected across all three levels uh, and also allowed us to break up the, the elevation and facade of the building into areas that would cast shadow and protect the building from the west side heat. Uh, the staircase, because it kind of uh, went up uh, in different layers, allowed us to step the building back and create other pockets of shadow, which then we carved into to bring in light into the building. Uh, this was the main elevational strategy, which then structured the, the entire length of the, the west side, which is the main elevation of the building. So the uh, ground floor plan uh, is actually north-south long in that sense. There's a uh, four court into which you enter uh, and there's a space for parking of cars. Uh, the plinth actually comes up and sits five steps up. So there are a set of uh, steps which come up this way. And there's steps which take you up into the margin, which is all garden over here. Uh, you can enter through a main door here and this is the main uh, living room area, which has a set of folding doors, which allow it to open up and sit onto this garden, which is all green and has plants and so on, so forth. Uh, this is where the, the staircase is with the eye bringing in light into the center part of the house. So this is 
uh, lit. This is this would normally have been the darkest part of the house. This, of course, gets light from here and here. So the it's the the eye window, as we call it, which brings in light here. It's a special window. So right in front of that is the uh, picture of uh, Satya Sai Baba, which is in some sense the puja space. The living room and this is, uh, against this wall is a kind of informal. Uh, sitting area with a part and uh, which is very common in uh, Gujarati homes. Uh, a jhula here allows, uh, defines the living room space uh, but also allows for visual continuity. There's an open kitchen over here uh, which allows you to uh, have a dining in this area. And then there is a there is the the um, grandparents' bedroom at the back, which has its own garden to the north. Uh, all of these areas, for example, the kitchen, we've utilized the the margin space uh, to accommodate things like utility and all, so that really the sense of the entire plot uh, is uh, pulled into the building in order to uh, work better. So the the first floor. Uh, is designed both as a continuation of the house at the lower level but also designed in case it needs to be used separately as an apartment by the son but wants privacy in that and in that sense it works as a two bedroom apartment uh, at this level with two bedrooms at the north and south edge. The staircase uh, brings you up to this level. Uh, and the kitchen and dining actually form the central part of uh, this which and the staircase actually allows ventilation for the kitchen. It's a long thin kitchen. Uh, we studied jo uh, Glenn Merkert's uh, buildings in order to understand how those work for them and they were quite pleased by the, the way that the layout works. Uh, the eye window allows for both a connection with a cutout here with the lower level but also brings in light into again the darker parts of the house. At the uppermost level uh, Actually, the uppermost level is very unusual because in order to make it lighter, we've constructed the entire house of that level of the house in wood. And this is all recycled wood from Alang, which was uh, used, uh, was reused, uh, and therefore makes a very light uh, structure with a wooden frame and uh, a simple um, flush doors which have been articulated in order to fit into that system. Interestingly, the windows are cut out of the doors uh, so that they use, uh, they, they use materials very efficiently. Uh, again, there's a large room uh, with a long toilet. Another room, this side, bedroom, and the uh, space in between uh, is again a long kitchen and a dining space. So each level of the house can be used both as an independent apartment or can be used as part of one single uh, joint family house. The idea is to allow for the imagination of a single house while also using it separately. Uh, though the plan of the first floor and the second floor look similar, because of the wooden structure, the space that is here is completely different from the lower level. Uh, the, the quality of light, the kind of diffused uh, luminosity of these spaces because of frosted glass uh, makes one feel that it is a much lighter space and this was part of the brief that was given to us. Uh, the size of the room here is much larger. It uh, has the possibility of working as a private space but also as a large hall when the family does want to have gatherings for bhajans and other religious meetings. These are uh, houses which are of the budget range of about 65 to 80 lakhs. And the built up area of this house is about 3,500 square feet in total. With a cost of that uh, amount, really if one is going to detail very carefully the building, uh, the fees would be exorbitant, which doesn't work out for the, the nature of the client that we are dealing with, uh, who have very stringent budgets. So what we decided to do in order to facilitate this was to take up some of the construction ourselves, to do it like a kind of design and build. And for that, we started a workshop and we actually took up a material management construction of the dry part of the building ourselves. So we sourced the wood from Alang, we brought it, we manufactured all the trussing and structural systems for the upper level and including the doors and windows which then of course uh, gave us great control at a reasonable cost. For the same quality of uh, 
workmanship and detailing, uh, if we were to go through a contractor system, it would have been a much more ex expensive house. This also allowed us to offset uh, the lower fee with earning something in the construction process, which made it uh, financially viable for us to do the house to the level that we would have, we wanted to and were able to achieve. So in that sense, the entire lower two floors are uh, designed by a structural engineer and the upper lighter floor is really something that is done in a more um, informal manner, but is detailed by us and constructed by us to a very high degree of uh, uh, detail and, and craftsmanship. The material palette of the building uh, really came out of the fourth point that was part of the brief and that was the pink colour of the building and as I mentioned uh, we looked at paintings and we saw what are the other colours that we could uh, use with uh, the pink and interestingly greens and blues came up with pink which are unusual kind of mixes that we use and we started looking at uh, the uh, play of both uh, synthetic pink uh, what you would get with pink, uh, pink paint and uh, let's say natural pinks that you would find in say slate stone or in say various types of natural materials and this was what formed the play of the, the, the facade in terms of the material. What we did was we used the greenish blue uh, kind of plaster to define a heavy base of the building and then the pink colour and then the wood on the upper level gave you a sense that the building was becoming lighter. So it followed that theme through the entire articulation of the building. 